Hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear real quick. In this video, I'm... <coughs> In this video, I'm building a generator. Hello, welcome to Miller's Planet. Today is the day. I'm finally building a generator. It's going to be an AC generator, which is the best kind in my opinion. So let's go to the whiteboard real quick. All right, so first I will be setting up my DC motor. And I'm going to have gears attached to both the DC motor and the AC generator. And the way that an AC generator works, it mainly relies on induction. Let's say we have a coil here in the middle and we have a north facing magnet and a south facing magnet on either side. When the magnet is moving, if a coil cuts through these magnetic field lines perpendicularly, it is going to induce current in the wire according to Fleming's right hand rule. So the more coils I have, the higher the current is going to be coming out of the generator. So with that said, the final step is the load. Now you might be wondering why AC? Isn't DC good enough? Doesn't DC get the job done? And if you were to say that to me, I'd tell you to go f yourself right now. Why don't you go? You go. Why don't you go? F okay, so it's all about transmission lines and efficiency. So in a nutshell, AC generates a lot less heat, and this is because well, AC is constantly switching between on, off, negative, on, off, positive current, but DC is just on all the time with the current not really being regulated. And reason number two being with AC current. You can put in step up transformers which raises the voltage but lowers the current so that less heat is generated. It's a pretty big deal. Without AC we would be screwed. So yeah, first things first, setting up the motor. Okay, so for this generator, I'm going to need a DC motor, so I'm going to use the one that I made in my first video. It's a little wobbly. <laughs> it's a lot wobbly, so I reprinted a couple parts, I reprinted the stands, and I'm going to make everything a little bit more stable. Boom! Perfect! It, it's a little grindy, right? I wonder why that is. Hey guys, update. I fucked up a little bit. So this piece here is like the second part to my generator. And I tried soldering an extra piece of aluminum to this part that is going to connect to the commutator and I completely melted through to the PLA. So it's uh, it's off center now, to say the least. It's, it's uh, complete garbage now. But now it is printing off, so as soon as it's done, I have to rewire it and then I will be good. All right. Looking pretty good so far. I'm just gonna see how fast it can go. I'm gonna do 30 volts at two amps. Okay, commutator test part one, I'm gonna do 25 volts at two amps. I added a couple of neodymium magnets on each end. Okay, commutator test part two. That was insane!
Is it on? Is the thing uh, on working? It's on? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so right here I have the multimeter and here's what I'm doing right now. I'm measuring how much power comes out of this thing. So right now I'm gonna do 25 volts at 2.5 amps. So I got the magnets in place here. I just wanna demonstrate how goddamn crappy this thing is. I'm gonna have to rewire it. The 2000 microamp setting and it's only reaching the hundreds. So, this generator sucks. I'm going to have to design a new one. I'm not really sure what's wrong with it here. I know this configuration should give out current voltage, all that, but it is straight up not. I got smaller wire, so I'm gonna try wiring this thing differently. One eternity later. Alrighty, I just got done rewiring this thing. Let's test it out. Okay, so I attached an LED to the output of the generator and we got the new coil set up. I even added a makeshift little iron core in there made out of iron screws. So let's test it out. 20 volts, 3.5 amps. So here's the thing, it got an LED going, which is okay, but I want a little bit more power than that. So, so it is time for a redesign. So here I have this empty cylinder of polyethylene. So I think I'm gonna put the coils on the outside and the magnets in the middle. That way the gear has less weight attached to it and it can go a lot faster and I can put more coils on the outside. So I will meet you back when I'm finished. Okay, I think I finally did it. So I took that polyethylene tubing I had and I wrapped the living no. out of it with magnet wire. And on the inside, I replaced the coils with magnets. And I attached the output of the coils to a LED. So let's try 25 volts at three amps. Wow. It's time to turn things up a notch, Bob darn it. Okay, all in all, I gotta say that was a family my assholes. But that's what makes them enjoyable. By the way, if you like my stuff, don't be afraid to slap the bell. And you know what bell I'm talking about. That's the notification bell, because I got a whole lot of stuff coming. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.